A mess tonight in the Sierra under a blizzard warning right now. Road shut down on Interstate 80 and Highway 50. We are tracking dangerous conditions with a lack of visibility, avalanche control, and spin outs being reported. Good evening. We have a lot to cover. I'm Chris Thomas. I'm Laura Painter. Thank you for joining us. The message tonight, avoid driving in the Sierra if you don't have to travel. We've got team coverage tonight as the Sierra remains under a blizzard warning. Chief Meteorologist Monica Woods is tracking the storm. But we start tonight with the danger on the roads. It's a mess wherever you go. This is a live look at I-80. Just horrible conditions. ABC 10's Luke Clary has been following those conditions all evening. And Luke, what are you seeing and learning right now? Laura, Chris, well, as you can see, there seems to be a bit of a break in the snow right now where we're standing at Applegate. From here, uh, I-80 is closed all the way to the Nevada state line. And along the way to uh, this point on I-80, we saw dozens of big rigs and several passenger cars, drivers hoping that they would be able to make their way into the mountains. But based on what we have seen so far, it could be a while. With Interstate 80 closed at the Applegate exit, big rigs waiting by the dozen on each side of the road. For much of the afternoon, the heavy snow piling up as quickly as crews could work to plow it and drivers to shovel it. Mother Nature is stronger than we are. <laughs> That's the way to look at it. This couple wanted to go skiing. This family, a winter getaway in Truckee with the grandson. We thought we'd get ahead of the storm and so we could just, you know enjoy the snow, but we didn't make it. Uh, yeah, let's try, uh, <laughs> we didn't make it before the roads closed. You just never know. You, you, sometime they open it, sometime they close. I mean. In the end, they were among the many people turned away by CHP and Caltrans crews who only let people through who lived nearby and could prove it with ID stop, stop. and had the proper equipment to do it. This is my first time with these types, so I guess make sure you know how to use them. Aiden Sumida and his friend live just a few miles up the hill. This is still a bit extreme. I, I've, I've only seen it this bad once. Winning their struggle with the chains, they're free to go home as officials urge other drivers just to head back down out of the snow. And I spent some time chatting with one of the workers here with Caltrans who was checking IDs, letting people who live nearby go to their homes and turning others away. He said that he was encouraging a lot of people just to go back down the hill to Auburn, get a hot meal and wait it out. But again, seeing all of those big rigs along the sides of I-80, it really just kind of underscores how much commerce uh, traverses the mountain passes on this, uh, this roadway and understandable why so many big rig truckers are eager to get back out on the road. Our understanding though from Caltrans tonight is that will not be happening, at least not tonight. Back to you. Yeah, Luke, Interstate 80 really a lifeline for our commerce in our country. And it's exactly situations like these to always have emergency supplies in your car. We're talking about blankets, waters, water and chains, of course, like some of those folks out there. Luke Clary, thank you and be safe. Well, now to Chief Meteorologist Monica Woods. How's that morning commute looking, Monica? It's going to look a lot like what we've been seeing throughout the day for the Sierra. Now, in uh, opposition, we see clear skies throughout the valley, and that's really how the evening has been playing out. Really heavy snow higher up in the Sierra, the valley dry. And you can see as we zoom in where Luke was positioned along I-80 just down the hill here. It is dry, but once you start heading up the hill, this is why I-80 Still closed. We have heavy snow at times continuing to fall along Highway 50. Periods of closure still have the avalanche controls in effect, and that road still closed as well. 88, 89, 124. I could keep going on with every road because basically we're looking at closures and chain controls throughout. You can see snow still falling in the mother load all the way through the central Sierra as well. Along I-5, by the way, if you're headed northbound, you're going to encounter chain controls up towards Redding and beyond uh, towards the Oregon border. Rain starts to pick up for the valley. Come our way by about 2 a.m. That's going to take us right through the morning commute with another chance of thunderstorms for tomorrow. You can see it in line here. All the areas shaded in green. And basically, we're looking at the potential for some hail, strong downpours, as well as some lightning. Blizzard warning in effect through 4 a.m. Avalanche warning in effect through Wednesday morning as well. We get into our winter storm warning in effect that will continue through Wednesday and for the coast. 
We're going to see that winter weather advisory in place through 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. This is what it looked like out at Solano County. How about that? Nicholas submitting that in, and it was just a beautiful sight. A lot of folks getting excited about that cold air dropping low snow levels. And again, this continues into our Tuesday. More on what we can expect for the rest of uh, the week coming up in just a moment. Sounds good, Monica. Thank you. I want to show you this. Just look at all that heavy snow. We shot this video this morning as the storm moved in and conditions only got worse. It's not just I-80 getting hit with the snow and closures. This is how things were looking along Highway 50 earlier today. And don't expect improvements anytime soon. Right now, eastbound lanes are closed at Pollock Pines and westbound lanes are closed at Myers due to avalanche control and cars spinning out. Also tonight, Highway 88 is closed to eastbound traffic at Dewdrop in the Pioneer area. ABC 10 talked with people about how they're dealing with the low snow. Tonight, low snow in Foothill neighborhoods is a big story. Snow accumulations building up on roads, cars, and homes near downtown Placerville, headed up Highway 50. 30 years, and I got into it because uh, up here during the uh, winter, there wasn't a lot of work when there was always three feet of snow on the ground, so the opportunity was there, and I jumped at it. The weather is ideal for skiers and other snow lovers. It also means good business for chain installers like Steve Cleath, who have worked out there for decades. Personally, I would say don't come out if you don't know how to drive in it. If you do know how to drive in it, chain up and go over there because Caltrans keeps the road pretty clear and they monitor it. If it's, if it's too dangerous, they'll shut it down. I've seen a lot of accidents, that's for sure. People not putting their chains on right, people driving too fast, just not being cautious of the circumstance. Meanwhile, in Pine Grove, business was booming at a local market as people came in to stock up on food and supplies. Cat food, dog food, our deli's open. We're open 24-7. There are some other stores in town that are closed, so we are open and Available. It was also a snow day for schools, meaning a day off for high school students like Connor Clinton and Maddie Nicholson. I'm excited. I mean, it means more time off school for us. Well, I really like it because it doesn't normally snow at my house. I live a little bit lower, so this is probably like the first time I've seen snow at my house in like at least a few years. For others, the dumping of snow isn't keeping them from enjoying some ice cream or wearing their shorts. It's just an everyday thing, no matter what. <laughs> snow don't bother me none. A reminder, in Amador County, Highway 88 is closed to eastbound traffic at Dewdrop in the Pioneer area. Caltrans urges drivers to take an alternate route. And thank you to Connie for sharing this video with us tonight. The snow was falling in Auburn today. A beautiful sight if you're inside, right? Keep in mind, many schools are closing because of the weather. You can visit our website, abc10.com, for the full list of school closures. We'll also keep you posted on ABC 10 Morning News. And download our free ABC 10 app where you can get the latest information on weather, travel conditions, and breaking news. You can also upload your photos and videos. You just might see them on air.